Greetings and welcome back. Today I have another piece of household electronics equipment to take apart and find out whether it's pretty on the inside. And the item for today is BT Home Hub. A uh, BT Home Hub 5 to be precise. It's still quite modern hub and it will be interesting to have a look what sort of solutions are inside, what sort of chips they're using and whether it's made nicely and whether it's pretty on the inside. And here it is in its glory. Nice little device. It's actually the same hub that I've got right now. It's got this design on the front. On the back we've got broadband or DS ADSL connector, four network connectors, a wide area network I you can connect it to a separate modem, USB connector, power supply reset and a clanking on off switch. On top we've got WPS button and a restart button. That's all there is to it. Now you might have noticed by now there aren't any screws on this. Let's see where we can pry things open. Uh, clearly the back and front are two separate pieces of plastic. I can feel a little bit of movement so let's just... oh there we go. Anyways it's a one-way journey so we can can be a little bit brutal. Let's take this leg off, it's just in the way. And there we are. Here is the insides. And the screws are out, so now the whole board should pop out like so. And all sorts of interesting things in here. There will be quite a bit to look up. So let's have a closer look and let's start from the back because it's a little bit less interesting. So really quickly we can scan through it and this is where the USB port is, then this power jack, on off switch, a few passives, caps, zero ohm resistors, um, not much else happening until we get through to here. It gets a little bit more dense and yeah there's a ton of uh, micro vias across the whole board there's a lot uh, a lot of stitching happening and there is a few transistors uh, some more passives and here we have a first chip and that's just a quad input NAND gate nothing to write home about mc74 vhct08a nice little gold crystal some more trucks. Uh, here is some impedance matching happening with all the pretty squiggly lines. That's going from a chip that's sitting here on the other side, all the decoupling caps on the back of it. And here is a forest of decoupling caps. Here we've got that's a spansion chip that's gonna be some memory. Spansion NAND flash memory for embedded systems or purposely designed for embedded system which did modem or router kind of is and uh, it's a one gigabit package uh, with a very heavy data sheet. Further down there's an, a part that's not been fitted and a few more transistors. This goes to the input of the phone jack so there's going to be some protection over here for high voltage spikes in case a lightning hits the phone jack. Interesting parts are going to be here on the back you can see those are, from what I can see, those are 24 pin packages. Sorry, 48 pin packages. And there's two of those, so we'll look a little bit closer. We've got uh, four LEDs and there's two here and two more at the bottom. From what I see, those are RGB LEDs. Let's see if we can light them up. I know uh, on my modem I see they do light up blue or green, but I have not seen red yet. Maybe red is reserved for some sort of bad things when they happen. So I've got an interesting contraption here which is connected to 2016 lithium coin cell. Okay, okay there we go, there's uh, red, green and blue. So yes, uh, this is positive, so it's common, adult, uh, common anode um, RGB LEDs. Uh, if you're careful enough, you can desolder them from it. And on the other side, let's start from the same part of the board. We've got the USB um, capacitor, electrolytic cap, the only electrolytic cap on this board. There's only one, and it is actually a Lilon. So it's a good brand capacitor. Well, they've used only one, so the thought maybe let's uh, let's get a good one. It's not gonna make much difference. Over here we've got lots of eight-pin packages, really small, uh, and there is quite a lot of them. Quite a few inductors. This is the reset switch over here. 
some sort of uh, switch mode converters. This, um, looking at all the inductors, this section is just clearly generating all the voltages required for all the other chips. And here we are entering an area which is uh, marked off. It looks like it's uh, it could, there could be a cam soldered onto this, but clearly there isn't right now. And we've got two tiny connectors onto uh, two antennas, but there aren't uh, any antennas connected to them. And you might think, well, where are the antennas? And you are looking at them right now. So here is one. This PCB trace is actually the antenna. Um, there is one here, and there is another one, just like the first one that we looked at. You can see this is going straight from this connector, goes under and this forms antenna. I think this is going to be the 2.4 GHz because it's a little bit longer. There's a few smaller ones on the other side. And here is some tiny little chips. That, those are most likely RF amplifiers. Almost difficult to see the components. There's so many vias. A Theros chip, AR9227. And I couldn't find the exact data sheet for this one, but the model, the chip that we're looking for is the AR9227. Deals with the wireless 2.4 GHz, as I thought before. Moving to the left from it, uh, we've got a Samsung memory chip. Keep going to the left. And here we've got a big Lantia BGA package. Uh, Lantia PSB80910 X-Way V. RX268 so this could be interesting and it is not Lantia it's Lantic they've got rubbish logo this Q should looks like an A but anyways um, X-Way VRX268 chipset it's a true universal DSL solution and seems this uh, Lantic company is dealing with all sorts of chips that deal with ADSL and networking and things like that They've, uh, they've got a whole family, the VRX200 series, that uh, this device and most likely many other is packed with. And next to the Lantia chip, we've got three other Lantia chips, smaller ones, PEF7071V. And PHY11G is a 10, 100, 1 gigabit per second a physical layer uh, on the OSI model. That's all sorts of magical thing, I must admit, I don't entirely know, it's not my thing, but I'm sure it, it does the business. And here I thought I'd, I'll just throw this in, in case you didn't know, OSI, network model, um, or layer model, reference, uh, it's, uh, this is, that's what it is, it's the seven layers of the networking, you've got physical layer, data link, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer and application layer. If networking is your thing, I'm sure you know about it. If not, uh, look it up. It's quite an interesting subject. And going a little bit more to the left, uh, there's a more, one more inductor, another controller probably for some extra voltage, and uh, surprisingly a different brand chip. So this has got the Q logo. Is uh, What brand is this? Is this Qualcomm? And again, for this one, I wasn't able to find data sheet really quickly, but QCA9880 is again a, a chip that's designed for uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi modules, and there are plenty of uh, cars like this one based around this module, PCI Express or um, any other USB devices that run off of this module, and it does both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies, hence the smaller antennas on this side of the board. And next to it we have three, one, two, and three same chips. And again, that's some sort of uh, RF amplification. And there was two on the other side, and this one and those two sockets. This one's got side has got three, and there are three antenna sockets. And again, nothing connected to them. But you can see the tr antenna trace over here, the same one here, and the same one here. Now those are significantly smaller than the other one, so I'm predicting that this will be 5.8 GHz uh, frequency uh, because the higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength, the shorter the antenna. Um, and the ones on the other side, there was only two of them. There was this um, squiggly line uh, in the middle between them, but that was just connected to ground. And 
back down to the bottom here we've got the phone jack spark cup um, this probably will be some sort of isolation transformer here we've got an interesting looking transformer UTB01 it's got 8 pins and it's a, it's a ferrite brick a ferrite cube that has got some captum tape wrapped around it and there must be some um, some windings um, up inside and here we've got yet another Lantia chip this also has got X-Way on it uh, but the numbers are a little bit different so this one is 801, 8019V it seems like only two digits have been swapped uh, compared to the big chip this one is 80910 and the small one is 80190 80190 by Lantic so yes this um, it's another cost optimized chipset that will help carriers to upgrade their networks for deployment of triple play multi-mode VDSL ADSL capabilities fantastic I'm sure it does the business it seems like majority of this device is based based on Lantic silicon and then lastly next to the LAN connectors we've got Lancome, Elec, those are the 48 pin packages and there are two of them and it's a little bit strange when I look at it what I think those are, this is just like the some of the other chips that have got four transformers this will have significantly more because I think each chip can serve two sockets so that's what there's two for this chip and there's two more sockets for this chip but they are not identical so technically the part number up to here um, matches kind of but you can see the print is different on them the logo is a little bit different the, the color of the plastic is different so yeah a little bit off and then the last line is a little bit off 1514U and 1515MJ so uh, this probably is a date code that last line and it's, um, it's actually significantly off so they've probably just had a you know a bucket of, of those and just picked whatever uh, whatever there was or maybe we are just lucky enough to have a one that had a real change uh, in the pick and place machine and one more also Lancome Elec LG 24138-7 model number or the board RTV 7505W D18 revision 4.10 thank you very much for joining me and that's all for this video so please uh, like share subscribe and do all other YouTube things and yeah join me on my next one very soon but for the time being take care